Hey everybody, it's Therese Paler, Chief Beat Writer for the Kansas City Star, and I'm back here in St. Joe for the fifth day of full squad of practice. Story of the day, in my opinion, inside linebacker Marcus Aligwe. We already knew that Kareem Hunt was going to earn some first string reps among the rookies, the first one to do it, but believe it or not, Aligwe is the second. The Chiefs have been rotating a lot of players in at inside linebacker, and Aligwe is the guy to keep an eye on because he's been getting some first string reps. Here's what defensive coordinator Bob Sutton had to say about Aligwe's development so far. I think he's going to be a really good player. You know, he, he, since he's been in here, he's, he's worked really hard at it diligently. Uh, he studies hard. Uh, he, he, he loves to play. I mean, the guy loves to play, and uh, I think he's got a physical presence in there. And, uh, you know, he, he, he studies. He understands the game, and I think he's just going to get better and better. So I think he's got a bright future. So the other big story of the day, receiver Albert Wilson. Albert, along with Chris Conley, is one of the Chiefs' most veteran receivers. And he's also somebody who I think is competing for a roster spot. But he says that he feels better than he ever has at this point of the year, and there's a big reason why. Those years I had with Jay McMahon, him teaching me how to be a pro in the offseason and how to train. And, um, and another big thing was just definitely changing my eating habits. Um, uh, man, just got to stay away from that candy at nighttime, man. It just, it just call my name when I'm just laying there and just be watching TV, but I just have to stay away from it most times. That's all I've got for you guys today. Remember, go to KansasCity.com for all your Chiefs news. For the star, I'm Therese Paler. I'll see you guys tomorrow.